from the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas. Five celebrities battle it out at the poker table. At stake, the singular wireless quarter million dollar prize pool. Playing tonight from Ed, Michael Ian Black, The View's star Jones, actor and comedian Norm MacDonald, from CSI Miami, Adam Rodriguez, and Six Feet Under's Jeremy Sisto. Plus, world-class poker player and expert, Phil Gordon. And your host, Dave Foley. Thank you and good evening. And welcome to Celebrity Poker Showdown. This is the only place in show business where an actress with a big pair can still end up a loser. Mm -hmm. uh, let's bring out tonight's players. Now, playing for Endeavor House is Michael Ian Black. <laughs> playing for the East Harlem School at Exodus House, Star Jones. Adam Rodriguez. And playing for the Linden Center, Jeremy Sisto. Well, well, good evening, all. Obviously, we've, you've adopted the role of Bond villain for this evening. Mm -hmm. You guys should all rent the wrong guy. Dave Foley's uh, brilliant uh, unreleased masterpiece. It's on video stores. I, yeah. I am a misunderstood genius. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Much like Orson Welles. <laughs> you have that Richard Branson billionaire look to you. You know, I've got everything but the billions. <laughs> you know, you used to be in Kids in the Hall, right? Yes. As I understand. Kids in the Hall. I, I, get, I get recognized almost on a daily basis for being on a television show that I was never in. I know, and, and I really never good. get recognized, and I was in it for uh, forever. Well, you weren't, and, that, you weren't that good on it. No, I wasn't. I was not, I did not shine. Now, only one of you can, uh, can win the game today. Only one of you can win this, this coveted silver chip. Now this chip indicates that you've won here and that you're gonna move on to the championship table where you can win the gold chip and the largest piece of the singular wireless prize pool, which is 100,000 of the $250,000, which goes to your charity. Wow, that's good. That's nice. We like that. And the only way you're gonna get that chip is by winning at a game called Texas Hold'em. If anyone here is not familiar with how the game of Texas Hold'em goes, then we've prepared a short film by Russian master of the montage, Sergei Eisenstein. <laughs> it's a simple game, really. Each player is dealt two whole cards face down, and then they bet. Three community cards are spread face up in the middle of the table. These are called the flop, and are common to everybody's hand. After a round of betting, one more common card is turned face up. This is called the turn. Everybody bets, and then one last common card, called the river, is added to the spread. There's one final round of betting, then the players make their best five-card poker hand out of any combination of their two whole cards and the five in the middle of the table. Each player starts with $10,000 in chips. Every hand, the first two players will have to make forced bets known as blinds to start the action and build the pot. At regular intervals, these blinds will increase, making the minimum bet higher and higher throughout the tournament. And while there are minimums, remember, this is no limit poker, so there are no maximums. At any time, any player can go all in and bet everything they have. Eventually, one player will have all the chips on the table and be declared the winner. 
Hi, once again, I'm Dave Singular Wireless Foley, and I'm, I'm sitting with the prize pool kid here, Phil Gordon, <laughs> poker expert. And uh, I think we're going to have a great game today. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing these guys play some great poker. And even more so, I'm looking forward to having three of them back here with us in the Losers Lounge. That's because, uh, true. you know, we're going to tell them what they did wrong, well, criticize you, their play. Yes. And, uh, and hopefully order some drinks and have a good time. That's true. So I think we might as well get the game started so we can uh, have our first loser here. America's Post favorite haste. four words. Shuffle, Shuffle up, up and, and deal. deal. Shuffle up and deal. There's Robert Thompson getting our game started. Lines are 100-200. Each of the five contestants starts with 10,000 in chips. And four of the men with no chips at all. <laughs> Every single time. I keep marveling at that. Four of them wind up flat broke. <laughs> That's the way a tournament works, It's That's Dave. horrible. Perfect. When you get a chance, can I get a little more whipped cream on this? <laughs> what did you get there, f***ing Sunday? Thank you, darling. This is what you call a man's drink, Adam. Ah, I don't know if you're familiar ah, with it. Ah, oh, my nice. God. I like it. I'm a, I'm a little nervous now. I'm starting to suck. Star is first. And Star Jones of The View has an ace three of spades. Okay. Star calls. Ten queen for Adam Rodriguez of uh, CSI Miami. I raise. Adam is raising to 500. It's an aggressive play. He raises to 500. Actor, comedian, Norm MacDonald's looking at a uh, Jack King. Is he awake? Can we look under those glasses? He's contemplating life. People wear sunglasses to the table to conceal when they're looking at you, not to conceal their own eyes. Or he's, or he's, uh, he's wrongly wrongly decided that it's dashing. Norm, I got the view on Monday. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> Norm calls. And Michael Ian Black of Ed has an ace-10. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if money's any good. Huh? Michael folds. Jeremy Sisto of Six Feet Under Jeremy folds his 9-8. Star calls. Three players. Flop is Jack of Hearts, King of Hearts, Queen of Spades. Star is first. Deck, thank you. Stars checking. There's a thousand. Adam bets a thousand. Norm McDonald has flopped two pair. He has kings and jacks. Norm raises to three thousand. Michael Ian Black's killing himself because he would have flopped a straight. He had ace ten. I like it. Fold. Star folds. So what I am in uh, two? Oh, whatever this is. Two to call. Two to call. To the okay, he's trying to raise it up again. I have to raise at least $2,000. Oh, raise at least but you 2, have to raise the same amount that your opponent raised okay. as the minimum. So he's going to have to raise it two more thousand. Adam re raises to Let's 5000 Let's do it. Wow. It's a bad position for him to be in to have Norm on that side of him, yeah, right? Because he's, he's, sure. he's watching. His, well, he gets to see his every move. Right, and, and Norm's the best player at the table. I mean, it's a little mm -hmm. scary for Norm here. He doesn't want to go out the first hand either against a bad player on a draw. Norm calls, two players. Turn is a seven of diamonds, Adam is first. Uh, I don't know what I have to do here at this you point. Can you just say you bet anything you want. You just say okay. all in, I think is what you do. <laughs> when I have one 500 chip left, can I just put that in for Absolutely. the hell of it? Why not? 500 is not gonna be enough to get him off of any hand. And Norm calls quickly. River is a jack of clubs. Adam that makes first. Norm a full house. He has the best hand. Um, what? <laughs> I don't know. Get rid of these. Uh, you know what? Let's check. It's just the two of us. Let's check. Let's just see what we've Adam got. Adam checks. Let's just see what we've got. The pot's big enough. I don't want to be a haza, as they say. A pig. No. Norm's trying to figure out how much he can bet that uh, Adam's going to call here. <laughs> All in. If Adam calls this bet, he will be eliminated on the first I mean, hand. That's what it is. That's what it is. I'm here Are to you play. calling? He's betting yeah, all his money. I, so I call. Then you want to call? All right, yeah. let's see both hands, please. Oh, Adam. Norm oh. has a king of diamonds and a... Norm's got the full house, jacks jack full of kings. Of he has jacks full of kings. We need to see your hand, Adam. 
Norm has me, sir. I'm, I'm and Adam still has the same one pair he started this hand with. I'd have to say that was a really crappy play. Big hand for Adam. Norm wins the pot. Is that that's the uh, technical term for it? Yeah, I don't see any other way to call it other than just a really crappy play. So that's it. I'm done, right? Bye, everybody. That was That was what they called being silly, I guess. Yeah, you, you, I, play, I, I played stupid and I won. Uh, These things happen. Oh, God. All right. Well, it, 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 it's all for a good cause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, the best hand, I made a stupid play. Yeah, that was a way too loose play by Adam. He, he just got ruined on this hand. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. It was fun. You know, I mean, what am I going to do? I thought I did the right thing, and I'm exactly where I didn't want to be. I did the right thing. Sometimes that doesn't pay off. You know, sometimes you gotta be silly. Ah, uh, yes, sir. I didn't Adam. even get to finish my first drink. I know, Adam, you, but you, you know, you did, you did make celebrity I, poker showdown history, though. The first person to lose in the first hand? The first, they already prepped <laughs> you on that one. No, they know. didn't, Come but I just on, you did, nobody yeah, else would be that time stupid. Ever. Um, uh, for, yeah, first person to ever go out in the bust out on the first hand, please have a seat. Do I have to have use a, a coaster? Is the, is no, you don't have to do anything. Through these formalities. You can actually there. smash the table if you like. You can do whatever oh, you like. To... Had I spent two hours and then been the first one to lose, you know what I mean? And I like that to, happens. I like to... But you got Phil. You know, how did I do? I mean, obviously I'm sitting here not well, but maybe it's I, the first hand of the tournament. Do we, you might do not we call it over betting the pot, maybe a little bit. Over betting the pot. Yeah. Uh, I did everything wrong, right? Pretty much, yeah. 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 But you know the good thing. The good thing is we're going to have a long time for you to sit on this couch and learn from the other players and yeah. install the table. Right. So. You did a number of things that Phil gets rankled by. You un okay. under bet, <laughs> then checked, and then uh, and then you you called the. Uh, I did it all wrong. You called the all in from a guy who you knew was going to kill you. you I didn't had know, to know for sure. I mean, I should have known from the glasses oh, he's and the a hat. Bastard. You know, I should have been a little smarter. <laughs> he's a stone cold bastard. You should he know is. that. He's a son of a bitch. But you do get five thousand dollars. Still goes to your charity, which is Save the Music. Yeah. And what do they do at Save the Music? They probably hate me now. They're like, you no. ass. <laughs> you got it all in the first hand. You gave it, yeah, five grand, thanks. That was like my first time having sex. I'm like, well, this is a great, but it's over. This <laughs> is it. I mean, you know, I'm like. <laughs> Whatever. Well, you prematurely ejaculated your chips all over Norm Macdonald. I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's Canadian. Yeah. We're gonna go out to a commercial, oh. and then we're gonna, uh, and then we're gonna come back. And you have a, you know, you've got we'll a very, back, you got I'll a long stay with us here. I went all in. Look at that. This is horrible. Let's go to commercial. This is really, this is getting painful. And we are back. We're at the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas, where spring break never ends. We've got our first casualty here in the uh, Losers Lounge. Adam Rodriguez is with us, keeping us a little bit of company here. Doing a fine job of it, too. Yeah, but now I don't think he's going to be alone long in here. I think he's going to be joined by a, one of his uh, celebrity compadres soon. And let's see, how soon do you think that'll be? What's the chip count looking like? Might be pretty soon, Dave. Norm McDonald's doubled up to an enormous chip lead after knocking Adam out. He's got 20,800. The other three are grouped very tightly. Mike William Black's in second with 9,900. Jeremy Sisto's in third with 9,800. And Star Jones is still a close fourth with 9,500. Triple up and deal. I'll be honest, I never liked Adam. <laughs> Norm is first. 10 7 for Norm McDonald. Norm folds. 3 9. Michael folds. Jack King of Diamonds. Jeremy raises to 400. Ace, six of hearts for Star. Call. Star calls, two players. Flop Three of clubs, clubs, nine of spades, nine six of clubs spades, on the flop, clubs, and that gives Star a pair of sixes. Jeremy has no pair. Jeremy bets 600. Call. And Star makes a good Star call. Called. Six of spades on the turn. That gives her three six sixes Jeremy and an immortal first. lock. There's no way she can lose this hand. Jeremy checked. Raise a thousand. Star's betting a thousand. <laughs> Jeremy has got to get rid of this hand now unless he wants to join Adam here. Don't let him make you feel bad, Adam. 
Jeremy Foles, Starling Zapat. Okay, I can go back home and not be humiliated in one time. <laughs> I'm Star Jones, and I'm playing for the East Harlem School at Exodus House in New York City. It is a middle school for primarily black and Latino children from the Harlem community. I play poker on Wednesday nights with Whoopi Goldberg and her group of friends. By the end of the evening, if you haven't won a pot and you spent all your money, you are tit. Don't let this pretty face fool you. I got a good poker face. I'm out to win. Who cares who the players are? It's about the cards. It's all boys at my table. And not that I, the intelligent, gifted, talented lady that I am, would ever use my feminine charms to try to throw off my competitors. I would never do that. That would be tacky. <laughs> I'm going to use whatever I got. No more whipped cream when you get a chance, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Jeremy is first. And Jeremy is going to fold the seven two. Jeremy folds. Uh, you can just apply it directly to. <laughs> I didn't say to stop. <laughs> We're good. I'm in. Thank you. Stars calling with the king six. The whipped cream's falling. The it's leaning falling. tower of whipped cream. That was like my poker play. It was, it was symbolic. <laughs> Norm calls. Norm calls with the 8-9 offsuit. And it's up to Michael, and he players. checks in the big blind with an ace-deuce. Flop is five of diamonds, diamonds four spades, spades, jack of hearts spades, on the flop. Everyone hearts. missed. Norm is first. Norm is first to bet. He has the worst hand with just a nine eight. Norm bets five hundred. Michael folds. Star folds. Norm wins the pot. When you have a lot of chips, you can really exert pressure on your opponents by making a bet. And Norm stole that pot from both of them. That doesn't make it right. My name is Norm McDonald, and I'm playing for Paul Newman's Hole in the Wall game. Well, I think if you're playing for charity, you better be competitive. You better not be kidding around. You better be wanting to win at all costs. This is for children. Texas Hold'em I came into late. I played uh, Minnesota Hold'em for years. Is that a state? I played the Idaho Hold'em. I won't uh, lie to you, I was pretty good at the Rhode Island Hold'em. Phil Gordon will be watching and critiquing everything you do at that card table. And listen, that's going to be tough on a lot of players. It's not going to be tough on me because I prepared for this game. And what I did was, the other night I had uh, sex with a filthy prostitute and I had Phil come in and critique it. And I thought he was kind of unfair. A lot of laughs at this table. Mm. That's because Uncle Norm, you've got all the money. <laughs> Where's the banter? <laughs> I heard there was going to be banter. It's over here in the loser's lounge, sir. <laughs> Jeremy's first. He folded. I heard there was going to be witty repartee. Yeah. So we got two different memos, apparently. <laughs> banter I have no interest in. Witty repartee I can listen to all day. Star folds. <laughs> Pair of queens for Norm. It's a great hand. In Vegas, we call that Siegfried and Roy. I wonder why. Norm calls. 210 for Michael. Now, Michael's getting a free Michael ride in the checks. blind here because Norm is trying to trap him. He just called. Flop eight of diamonds, eight five of diamonds, diamonds deuce of diamonds, diamonds on the flop. Norm diamonds. has the Norm pair of queens first. with a queen high flush draw, and he checks. Check. And Michael is going to come out firing with his pair of deuces Michael and the 10 high flush draw. He bets 400. He's yeah. trying to act weak here. When your yeah. opponent acts weak, they're usually strong. At the poker table, strength means weakness, and weakness means strength. By the way, that doesn't apply to bar fighting. If a guy looks strong, he probably is. I'll tell you right now, I have the ace five deuce. <laughs> I flopped three pair. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was lying. I don't have the three pair. Riz. The arm is raising. Now, when they act weak and then they raise, you can be fairly certain they've got a very good hand. And Michael knows this. Take it. He's a good player, and he's going to get Michael out. folds. Norm wins the pot. Norm shows a queen of diamonds and a queen of spades. Well, I'm pulling for Norm now because he's got all my money, so I feel like my money's at least going to hole in the wall, Chad. It's like wanting the, uh, the, the person that adopts your children. You want them to be a good person. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know? And he's, out there, he's the adoptive parent of your chips. That's, that's how I felt. We spoke no. about it early on, and I said, look, if I'm going to lose... If anything happens to me, take care of my chips. Exactly. I kind of bequeathed that to him. Star is first. He's got the queen four of clubs. I'm in. Star calls. Two nine of hearts for Norm. Norm folds. Jack ten. I call. Yeah, he's in the small blind. Michael it's calls. cheap for him to get in. He's going to call with a jack ten. Jeremy's got a seven suited. Jeremy checks. Three players. All right, there are three players, and Mike will be first to bet. Star's mm -hmm. in the best position at the table because she gets to act after everyone else makes a decision. So she gets a lot more information about the strength of their hand by their bet or their check. And she can make a much more intelligent decision because she's last to act. Because mm -hmm. information is power. Seven of clubs, seven three of clubs, hearts, king of clubs now. Star has a flush draw. Michael is first. Michael checks. Jeremy flopped a pair of sevens. Did you check? Jeremy checks. Now he, he checks the star. I would have preferred him to bet there. Raise three. Star bets 300. Michael folds. Mm. Jeremy calls. Two players. Turn is a tray of spades. Three of spades on the Jeremy's turn. First. That's actually a good card for him. He can test her here with a bet. Raise, bet, whatever. Jeremy's betting 800. <laughs> Star folds. And she's folding. I like that yeah. fold. It's a very nicely played turn card there by Jeremy. I'm Jeremy Sisto. I'm playing for the Linden Center, and they are uh, an organization, nonprofit, that works with troubled kids. When I was a kid, I didn't play cards. I played sports sometimes, you know, with my mom. I like to play poker with the lonely people at the, uh, the casinos. I like to take their money. I don't like to play with my friends. My friends play. Hey, I'm not going to do good. Don't vote for me. Somebody's going to take me out. I know it. I just don't want to be first out. I don't want to be first out. I don't want to be a sucker. What role should I take? I'll take the evil role. Just evil, just wishing other people bad for no reason. You know what I mean? I, I, think, uh, I think I'm going to do very, very well. And I think one by one, the rest will topple. Well, Jeremy Sisto wants the evil role, does he? He's going to have to wrestle it away from Devil Spawn and Canadian Norm MacDonald. And don't rule out Star's mean streak or Michael Ian Black's bitchiness. It's the passion of the poker when we return. Ante up for the Singular Celebrity Poker Showdown Challenge on Bravo. All of tonight's players play a mean hand of poker, but one hand has special experience. Welcome back to the Palms in Las Vegas. This game is just getting underway, so what do you say we check the chip count, Phil? Okay, Dave, Norm is still our chip leader with 23,800. Michael's in second place with 9,900. Jeremy's got 8,400, and Star Jones is still in fourth place with 7,900 in chips. The blinds are only 200, 400 at this point, so nobody is officially short stacked. Compared to Norm, they are, of course, but they've all got plenty of chips. Now, before you can have any chips at all, it's a good, a good idea to know what makes a good poker hand. So, we'll just give you a little, a little uh, primer on uh, how that goes from lowest to highest hand, produced by the master of glamour and production numbers, Busby Berkeley. At the bottom, when you've got no pair, no nothing, hands are ranked by the high card, with an ace being the highest. Next is a pair. Two cards of the same rank. The lowest pair is deuces. The highest is aces. The next best hand is two pair. The higher of the two pair is the one that counts. For example, 
your jacks and threes beats my tens and nines. Beating two pair is three of a kind, which is just what it sounds like. Three of a kind is also known as trips or a set. Next best on the list is a straight. Five cards of any suit in sequential order, like five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can play an ace low, as in ace, two, three, four, five, or high, as in 10 jack, queen, king, ace. Beating a straight is a flush. Five cards of any rank that are all of the same suit. Flushes are ranked by the highest card in the flush. So if you had five hearts with an ace high, and I had five clubs with only a jack high, you'd take the pot. Next is a full house, which is three of a kind plus a pair. To beat a full house, you're looking for four of a kind. It's not easy to get, but when you do, chances are you'll win with it. That is, unless somebody has a straight flush. Five cards of the same suit and in sequential order. Five, six, seven, eight, nine of spades is a straight flush. And the granddaddy of all hands is called a royal flush. That's the five highest cards in sequential order, 10 jack, queen, king, ace, all of the same suit. And that's as good as it gets. Now let's get back to the action. Shuffle up and deal. Jeremy is first. Jeremy gets to say three, seven of hearts. Do we even know if Phil has actually ever played poker? <laughs> I've never seen it. He just wrote a good book. Jeremy Folds. It was good for the first three pages. Those last four were tough. <laughs> the book they're referring to is your notes that you give the cheat book. I give them like a 20 short tips that might help them play better. Call. Star calls. Ace five. Norm calls. And he gives Mike William Black a free look here in the big blind with a 9-7. Michael checks, three players. Flop is eight of hearts, nine of spades, ten of hearts. Norm's first. Norm, Norm bet 2,000 with no pair and no draw. That is not a good bet. That gives Michael a pair of nines and a straight draw. He needs a six or a jack to make a straight. Call. Michael calls. I'm all in. No, 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 no. The star's right here. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm done. All and in. he just called you. So there's, like, nothing to raise. Oh, please. Like, he doesn't know. <laughs> right. Norm knows it's not his turn to act. Five, five, five on the turn paired Norm there. First act. Well, I was just pretending. I mean, I have, <laughs> I have nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Go ahead, bet, a... you bet you win. Right. Are you, are you checking, Norm? Check. Okay, Norm checked, Michael checked. Jack of Diamonds on the river. That makes Norm Michael Ian Black a jack high straight. Go ahead. Norm checks. Michael bets 2,000. Norm folds. Michael wins the pot. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Michael Ian Black. I'm playing for Endeavor House, which is a group home for mentally challenged adults. It's a category I myself fit into. The biggest lesson I learned from being on Celebrity Poker Shirt on last season was not to be such a f***ing idiot. Where do you get a chance? Can I get a little more whipped cream on this? <laughs> if I can just not be a f***ing idiot for, let's say, an hour or two. Just apply it directly to... <laughs> I think I have a shot of coming in third. I think last time my intention was to do very well and win. I'm going to take the opposite strategy this time. Play poorly and lose. The last season, I read books, I studied. This season, I didn't do any of that. I'll tell you what I did. Fresh jockey shorts, strawberry banana smoothie. And not in the places where you think they would be. The strawberry banana smoothie did not go in my mouth. The jockeys did not go over my winky wank. Norm is first. And Norm has a queen jack off suit. I got a hand. I raise. Norm is raising to 1,800. And 3-5 for Michael. Michael folds. You may retire those cards. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> That's the best hand you can start with in Texas Hold'em. How much is it? 18, 1800. All right, all in. All in. Yeah! Go for it. I hope you win. Jeremy on, Reed double raises me up, Norm. all in for seven. And look at him sit back in his total. chair, Dave. When your opponent raises and then sits that far back and that far away from the table. I want to go to the loser's lounge. That is a sign of strength. Star folds. You can't get any more obvious than that. Normally when a guy plays with his chips like this, he's just not going to call. He's just, he's Hollywooding right now. How much more to me? 5,200 to call. Why do you say that like Hollywood's a bad thing? <laughs> Norm falls, Jeremy wins the pot. Yeah, he throws it throws away. Throws it away. And Jeremy takes down the pot. <laughs> For this next hand, we're only going to show you one player's hole cards. Pay close attention to the other player's tells because you're going to have to decide how would you play it. How would you play it? All right, Dave, for this hand, we are going to be playing along with Jeremy Sisto, and we've mm -hmm. got an ace 10. Why don't they have guys with racks coming out here bringing? Your fiance is over there. Why don't you make a call? You Michael know, is first. Just because I'm engaged doesn't mean I'm blind. What the hell? <laughs> Mike William Black's first to act. We're looking at him. We're trying to pick up some tells. I raise. Michael's raising. I don't know. What do you think, Dave? Michael raises to 1,800. I would worry about calling. 1,800, huh? Yes, sir. Because he's, uh, he's a good player. American dollars? <laughs> but ace-10 is a very good hand. The, the key is, do we have the best hand right now? All right. So... $1,800. If we think we have the best hand right here, we should raise it. But mm -hmm. it's very unclear. It, Michael could easily have this hand beat, in which case we should call. Okay, I'll call. <clears throat> Jeremy calls. Star folds. All right. Michael has something. Um, go ahead. Now the good Norm thing about folds. this hand is that we will Two be in players. position and Mike will have to act before we have to make any commitment to the pot. Flop Six of clubs, Six ace of diamonds, clubs, nine of hearts. You got a pair of aces. Now we're going to watch Michael very closely. I'm not, I'm going to look at you until you look away. I'll never look away. I have to bet. <laughs> and now I think that Michael's flirting with us. What does that say? <laughs> uh, 2,000. Michael bets 2,000. Wow. Mm. This is a mm. tough decision. It's going to be tough to call. Maybe I'll raise. I would say, I would say here are your three best choices. <laughs> call, call, raise, raise or, or just fold. leave. And I'm, uh, no. You know why? Because you're, you, because you're a sweet man with a <laughs> wonderful disposition. <laughs> stop, stop. I'm, I'm focusing. I think what I'm going to do here in this situation is... What we're worried about here are ace-queen, uh, ace-jack, mm -hmm. ace-king, and ace-nine. Those are the real hands to be concerned about. All right, let's just, let's just uh, do that. Jeremy calls. <laughs> Turn is a four of hearts. Michael bets all oh, in. Michael moves in immediately. And he was reaching to move in before the uh, four came up. Now, this is for all our chips here. <laughs> hey, let's review the information we have right now. Mm. Michael raised before the flop. That shows a decent hand. He bet after the board hit with an ace. He bet 2,000, which is a significant amount. Mm -hmm. And now, on the turn card, he moves all in. All in. He's not quite all in. He has one chip left. Damn. <clears throat> I'm telling you right now that I'm going to bet this chip on the river. <laughs> Regardless. I don't even care anymore. How much do I have here? 
about five and a half, huh? You had to go all in. It's tension. It's a lot of tension. <clears throat> and also, I want to show off my physique. <laughs> Literally minutes in the gym. Minutes. <laughs> The Linden Center. They'll be so angry at me if I lose this. I was gonna get my own plaque. They were already troubled. Front office. <laughs> you know? They're not gonna be any more troubled, brother. He said it first. They said they no. were troubled dudes. No. <laughs> Should I do? You have to show your physique while you think. You know what the rule is. If we don't have the best hand right now, we are drawing so slim. We only have a 6% chance of hitting our 10 on the river. But the good news for us is if we are Jeremy right now, the ladies liked our ass better. <laughs> if you think you have the best hand, go for it. Sound advice from a lawyer. <laughs> I guess when I'm... You can just cut past this part when I'm trying to decide. <clears throat> This is the best stuff. You know, it's... Ooh, and things have taken an ugly turn. I'm gonna fold. We threw it away. Jeremy folds, Michael wins a pot. Let's find out what Michael had. I'm very curious here. Ace four. Ace four. Indeed, he did turn two pair, and we made a good lay down. I hope you guys at home made the same play. We got out alive. Talk about showing off physiques. My, my. Your next star. <laughs> Not in eight million years. Star and Jeremy have plenty of chips at this point. They yes. really cannot panic. They have to pick a hand and go with it. Yeah. Um, and both Star and Jeremy showed up uh, wearing the same eyelashes. <laughs> Jeremy is first. Six, seven suited. A lot of players like to play these suited connectors. Jeremy calls. Jack four suited for star. I wouldn't play here. It's not a very good hand. Star calls. King five of diamonds for Norm. Now we've had Norm hearts calls. and spades and now diamonds. And we've got and now four, we've got five clubs. of clubs. Michael checks. So you know what that means. We're going to have to flip the flop. <laughs> We're going to flip the floppy flu. Flop is four of diamonds, deuce of clubs, queen of spades. Now, Star has the best hand with a pair of fours. Mike William Black also has a pair of fours. And Norm has no hand. 300 up. The minimum bet is 600 to all your chips. The minimum is 600. The minimum is 600. He's just trying to steal this pot. Norm bets 600. Michael folds. Jeremy folds. And it's up to Star. She does have a pair of fours, and she calls. Star calls. King of hearts on the turn. That's a huge Ooh, card for Norm. He's hearts. got a pair of kings now. First. Norm bets 600. Star calls. River is a tray of hearts. Norm is first. Norm bets 600. Star calls, let's see both hands. Norm shows a king of diamonds and a five of diamonds. He has a pair of kings. Star has a jack of spades and a four of spades. She has a pair of fours. Norm wins the pot. That was a nice play by Norm McDonald. Very nice play. I don't know, I've never played uh, poker against Star Jones, but I, I imagine she's very competitive because uh, I understand she uh, at one time was a, uh, an attorney at law. Raise a thousand. So there's nobody more competitive than an attorney at law. I know you're going to say astronaut, but we're not going to get into that age-old debate. Jeremy Sisto, obviously, is great on the on the Six Feet Under program, you know? And he, he's cra he seems crazy on that show. Well, the thing about Michael Ian Black, I mean, that guy, you can never figure that guy out. He gets on a celebrity poker, and all of a sudden, he doesn't want to come in last. I'll tell you right now, I have the ace five deuce. I flopped three pair. I was lying, I don't have the three pair. I don't know. He's another one that, uh, 
He leaves me nonplussed. Norm is first. And he's got a 3 Norm 6 folds. that he folds. Ace 5 offsuit. I raise. Michael's raising. Raising is the proper play here. Michael raises to 1,800. The Jack King off suit for Jeremy. That's a very good hand when you're short stacked. All right, he's gonna move all in. This is a very good aggressive play. And Star's got the queen seven, in which she fooled. Total. The other thing that his big re-raise does here is it puts Michael under a lot of pressure. Michael may not think that his ace five is the best hand right now, and he may lay this hand down. Michael Foles, Jeremy wins the pot. It's a nice aggressive free flop re raised by Jeremy Sisto. Jeremy Sisto just bought himself a little more time, but Star Jones may have to hawk her watch to stay in the game. And rumor has it Norm MacDonald will crack a smile when Celebrity Poker Shenanigans continues. Celebrity Poker Showdown continues next, only on Bravo. Welcome back to the Palms in Las Vegas for more Celebrity Poker Showdown, where all you need is a chip and a chair and someone to do your makeup and hair. <laughs> and then, of course, you can burst into flames and land here in the Loser's Lounge, as Adam Rodriguez did very early in our game, sadly. Sadly for you, but happily for Phil and I. Of course. Because we get very lonely. We get very lonely, and it's and nice to have company. What better company than myself? It's true. And Phil, now that we're here, now that we know we have, we have one person who is down to zero, what do the other four people have in their chip counts? Well, surprise, surprise, Norm MacDonald's still on top with more than half the chips on the table. He's got 25,900. Michael Ian Black has climbed into a respectable second place with 14,500. Jeremy Sisto's in third, 6,800. And Star Jones is the short stack at the table with 2,800. If she can't make a move soon, the only view she's going to have will be the loser's lounge. Star is very short stacked, and when that happens to you, it's very important just to pick two cards and go. You've got cool hair. Yeah. You do have cool hair. Who, okay. does your, who does your hair? I do. You do? Because you do not have cool hair. He does have cool hair. No, I mean, I mean not cool in a very cool way. Right. Jeremy's first. I'm making uncool cool. It's my favorite character on Six Feet Under. He's got a little weirdness to him, mm -hmm. a little edge. Unpredictable. You know, I like that. It scares me because you like a bad boy, and you know he's completely whacked out of his Girl. mind, but you really want to do him. I it doesn't it. matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You do. Believe me, I've been down that road so many times. <laughs> And I keep telling myself, honey, do not make the same mistake. <laughs> but I can't help it. I love those bad boys. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Norm. <laughs> Jeremy Cole. <laughs> Star is raising to 1,500. She raises to 1,500. She just move all in. There's champagne in the back, whatever. <laughs> this is a great hand. You're the chip leader. Uh, the classic pretending to smoke a pipe pose. Norm folds. And he's folding. That's a very strange play. Norm's a strange man. 4-9 for Michael. Michael folds. I'm all in. Jeremy is raising all in. Star's got enough chips committed already. She has to call. Star has fewer chips than Jeremy. Even if Jeremy loses this hand, he will still have chips remaining and be in the tournament. Well, I can only go to 13, so I'm allowed to go yeah, all you, in this you to have how 20, much I can. There so you we'll go. give Jeremy back 4,000. Right, Star, on the other hand, right, has to win this or she's eliminated. 
Jeremy has an ace of hearts and an eight of clubs. Star has an ace of spades and a jack ace of jack clubs. Ace jack is 75% over ace eight. Let's see the flop. Flop is ace of clubs, six of spades, five of hearts. They both have a pair of aces, but Star has the best hand so far with a jack kicker. Let's see the turn. Turn is a oh, jack. Oh, jack of hearts on the turn. Heart. This hand's over. Star no card can come that's going to help Jeremy, and Star is doubled up. Nice play, Jeremy's Star. Jeremy's drawing dead. Jeremy oh. makes two pair on the river. It's an eight of diamonds. Star wins the pot. Very nice. Eight hundred. Norma's first. <laughs> Norm has got a uh, queen two. Norm folds. Eight three. Michael folds. A nine jack. <laughs> the star has been playing exceedingly tight. It would be a very good idea for him to move a lot of chips in the pot and try to steal this blind. Yeah. <laughs> Again, let me clarify. We're talking about stealing the blind, not stealing from the blind. Exactly. Because that is poor sportsmanship to steal from the blind. They are disadvantaged. <laughs> all right, we'll go all in. There he goes. Jeremy he moves all in. 4,400. All in. Good call, Kreskin. And it's a king seven. 4,400 and all in for Jeremy. You and me, baby. Right now. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's just do it. Let's dance. Oh. Yeah. He didn't want to get called. He did not want to get called. I think I'm going to go away in a couple of minutes, so I'd like you to say more. goodbye to me <laughs> <laughs> in the nicest possible way. All right, this Star time Star has more chips than Jeremy, so if she flop. loses this hand, Jeremy she'll still be in the jack. tournament. If Jeremy it's loses, he's out. Hearts. Let's see the flop. Flop is five oh. of hearts, nine of clubs, six of clubs. That's a great she flop for Jeremy. He has the top Star pair, a pair of nines. Star has an inside Star straight draw. Straight she needs an eight draw. to make a straight. Turn is a queen Whoa. of clubs. Yeah. Jeremy still has the best hand. They both have flush draws. Jeremy has the best flush draw. Turn is a tray of hearts. Jeremy wins the pot with a pair of nines. His aggressive play paid off. He doubled up. Now he's got 8,800. He's looking good. That's why I don't usually shake, but this is a friendly game. It's a friendly game. Now, Star's in exactly the same position that Jeremy was just in, and that she has to just pick any two cards and move in and try to double up here. You guys remember Norm's Adam? First. Adam? Yeah, I remember him. Oh, yeah. I know, plenty of Adam. Him. I like him. I wonder where he is. I'm playing for Save the Music, which is a charity that helps uh, keep music programs alive in inner city schools. I, I just learned how to play this week, actually. I, you know, I've played poker before. I've kind of, you know, um, grown up playing here or there. I've never been in a regular weekly game or anything like that. I don't know what I have to do here at this you point. I have no idea what I'm doing, but that's not going to stop me from winning. And I'm not worried about what everybody else thinks. You just say all in, I think, is what you do. <laughs> Nor Norm McDonald who? Norm McDonald. It's very hard to be a gracious loser. I don't know that I'm going to be able to sit here and be nice about losing. I partied with Phil Gordon last night, so I, you know, I bought him some drinks and was getting a few tips on what to do. He told me page four in the book. Memorize page four. If you know page four, you'll be fine. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> They're trash talking you, Adam. At this point, discussing you, it's almost like, it's almost like a childhood memory. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm actually, uh, they're wondering if I was a figment of their imagination, actually. Ace nine. Very good hand for our chip leader. Raise. <laughs> Norm is raising. Norm raises to 1,600 total. And Michael's got queen three. If you're lying. Michael folds. Jeremy's got jack six off suited. Jeremy folds. Ace jack of diamonds there, so. So she's going to move in. all in. <laughs> she had to move in no matter what her cards were, but the ace jack is very good news for her. That's a great hand. 100 more to call. Well, she's the only one, believe me. I, I don't have anything, but. Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and why not? Norm calls. Let's see both hands. Ace Jack suited about a 75% favorite to win from here. Diamonds. 
Star has an ace of diamonds and a jack of diamonds. Let's see the flop. Flop is nine of spades, ten of clubs, five of clubs. Horrible Norm flop for Star. Right Norm has the best hand nine. with a pair of nines. Star has ace high. We hate Norm. Turn is a nine of clubs. And that does it. Norm Star is going to be eliminated. Nine. Norm now has three nines, and he also has an ace high flush two. draw. It's over. Star can't it's win. It's over. River is a king, king of hearts on the river. Big hand for Star. Norm wins the pot. That was a great call. Oh, you had yeah, the best hand. Yeah. Adam, make some room on the couch. Thank you guys. <laughs> we have some company. Thank you. Let's hear the music. Yeah, I'll be in the movie. Thank you, guys. Here's My love here. has come along. Oh, oh come on over here. here. Your lonely days are over. Mm. And life is not like a song. Oh, this is such a touching reunion. You did such a great job. Oh. Phil did nothing but compliment Phil, did I do, did I do what I was supposed to do? You did great, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was worried that Uncle Phil was back here and no, disappointed no, in me. Got, I was just, proud of you. It was no. just luck on that. that I know. know. Now, I did the right thing with you an did. ace and a jack. Yeah, the ace jack. You That's did. right. My my Phil said to me, if it's a great black jack hand, which that would have been a black jack hand, yes. then I'm supposed to be all in. Phil was proud. When you went all in, Phil was, yes. Okay. He was not... And trust me, he gripes a lot. He does. Uh, Phil didn't he compliment me on my black he, you jack gave hand. Him, you gave the, him no option. I least. gotta tell you, you, you blew me away with the all in on the first yeah. hand. You know what? It was Norm challenged me, and it was like, oh, well, I can't. Y'all should play you know, who's is bigger. Gonna, I know. Whenever <laughs> boys play who's is bigger, it's so yeah. true. It's stupid. Whenever you're dealing with men, it always comes down. So who's got the bigger one? I'm gonna unzip my pants. I'm gonna whip it out. That's not smart. <laughs> but it is good television. Uh, so, you know, whoever has the biggest one out there, and please flop it out on the table. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and East Harlem School at Exodus House, they're getting $5,000. Which is a wonderful thing. I'm yeah. so happy to do that. I'm that so happy excellent. to get them five grand. Well, two of our celebrities have joined us in the lounge, and I, I couldn't be happier to have you here. But we're going to have to go back out and continue to watch poker. Five hundred and a thousand dollar blind. Shuffle up and deal. And Norm McDonald's in great shape. He's got almost thirty thousand in yeah. chips. You're talking about his his, his stack. Yeah, he's because not in his great physically shape. Physically, he's not in great shape. Definitely no. not. But he does have thirty thousand in chips, and that gives him a lot of yeah. power at the at this level. And power is what women respond to. You don't have to be the best looking man. Just powerful. Just powerful. Look at look at Donald Trump. He gets laid. When that haircut sees action, you know there's some money in the bank. <laughs> Norm is first. All right, we're down to three players. He's got a king and queen of clubs. It's a great hand. Raised. Norm is raising. Norm raises to $3,000 total. <laughs> and Michael has got an mm -hmm. ace five. Yep, he's got 8,700 in chips. I'm all in. He goes all in. Wow, this is a huge, aggressive re-raise. Yeah. Where's the girl with the whipped cream? And Jeremy's got a uh, king six of spades. 8,700 total for Michael. That's usually a decent hand, but not facing a raise and a re-raise. How much? 8,700 total. <coughs> Jeremy folds. Don't tell Norm. I've got two aces. <laughs> but don't tell Norm. What's he got out there? 8,700. It's 5,700 to call. What's he got out there? I'm sorry? How much money is there? 8,700. Well, it's about strange. to be 8,800, Norm McDonald. 8,800. <laughs> and my room key. Ooh. And his room key. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so there's how much money in there? <laughs> so how much is it to me? Fifty-seven hundred more. He knows exactly how much money's in the pot. He's just he's just stalling. Now let's see what I can do. Come on, Norm. Come on, Norm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, stretch it out, stretch it out. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good, you guys? Yeah, you guys. I'm freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> Norm shows a king of clubs and a queen of clubs and he folds. Mm -hmm. And right. the pot. Pull up a chair. Yeah, now they'll make me go I back in there. I forgot about you all together. I know, well, it's, we've been in there. Happy. We do a whole you other do show. Visits. Another, <laughs> that's what I'm doing now. Right. That was very, that was exciting. And, and by the way, I've got some news since we started the game. A couple of big things have happened. Color television has come out. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy. I'll be back in there if you need me. Very good. All right, have a good time. <sighs> but it did not come up. Norm is first. And Norm's got a queen nine offsuit. I'll, I'll just call. Norm calls. Very strange play for this, uh, at this time in the tournament. By strange, you mean? Questionable. And by questionable, you mean? Strange. And by that, you mean <laughs> ultimately disappointing. Yeah, I just yeah. don't, I don't know why you would just call on the button there. If you have a hand that's good enough to play, put some pressure on the short stacks. I think he's just trying to piss you off. Five, six. I call. Michael calls. And Jeremy's got three eights. Jeremy checks all three players. Yeah. Flop is king of spades, four of diamonds, ten of diamonds. Michael's first. I check. Michael checks. Jeremy checks. This is a license to steal here. You know, Norm has nothing but blue chips showing. He, he's playing very well. He's going to yeah. be tough to beat. I got to check. Norm <laughs> checks. Uh, he just checks. Turn is a queen of spades. Now, Norm made a pair of queens. He has the best hand. Michael checks. Jeremy checks. I guess if nobody's going to bet. Norm bets 2,000. Michael folds, Jeremy folds, Norm wins the pot. And uh, Norm is just steamrolling right now, Dave. Pot after pot after pot. Can anybody stop the crazed love child of Paul Newman and Charlie Chaplin? Watch Michael and Jeremy go all in to try and halt Storm and Norman in his tracks. Don't miss one exciting moment of Celebrity Poker Bitch Slap after these moving pleas for your money. Ante up for the singular Celebrity Poker Showdown Challenge on Bravo. All of tonight's players play a mean hand of poker, but one hand has special experience. Welcome back to the Palms in Las Vegas, Nevada, where prostitution is not only legal, it's mandatory. <laughs> Now, we've lost two celebrities so far. That means we still have three hopefuls chasing a slice of that singular wireless prize pool. So let's take a look at the chip count, see who's most hopeful and who's closest to hopeless. Well, our chip leader is Norm MacDonald, and he has been since the first hand of tonight's tournament. He has 33,700. Jeremy Sisto has moved into second place now. He's got 8,600. And Michael Ian Black's in third with 7,700. With the blinds up to 500 and 1,000, they're going to have to win some of their chips back from Norm soon, or they'll just get blinded off. Shuffle up and deal. Jeremy Sisto of six feet under has an eight king. Oh. Jeremy calls. And uh, Norm MacDonald. Some may remember him from Saturday Night Live. He's got a seven five. That's only going to cost him 500 more to call here. You got this big a chip lead. I think you put your 500 in. Do you have like a giant monster hand? That's right. Norm folds. He lays it down. That's pretty tight. 
A check. Michael Ian Black of Ed has the queen two. Flop is tray of diamonds, five of spades, deuce of spades. Michael's first. Michael flopped the best hand. He's got a pair of deuces. Check. 3,000. Jeremy bets 3,000. Jeremy's trying to bluff the pot. He bets 3,000. Now he's looking right at him. Contrast this when he had the aces and was looking away. This is a huge tell. He's trying to appear strong. He's trying to appear confrontational. He's sitting up in his chair. Everything about this hand is different than the hand where he had the aces. You know who else does that? Puffer fish. <laughs> they try to look bigger than they are. Now these tells, now the pros, do they still have these tells or are they just more subtle with the pros? It's a lot more subtle. Uh, because these guys are actors, they act, they overact. They're easier to read for me. Um, yeah. It's definitely not as easy to read in a big pro tournament, for The instance. training of an actor is to convey your feelings, your inner feelings, whereas a poker tries to conceal, hide them, conceal yeah. them. I'm all in. And Michael moves all in. That's a very good play by Michael. He picked up on the tell. Jeremy's got to call 3,700 more Michael with no pair. To 6,700, he's all in. So how much more would I owe? Well, all of me? It's 3,700 to call. That was a great read by Michael. Oh, I don't know if I can call that. How much is he in already? He needs to call 3,700 more. Ay, ay, ay. All right. 3,700? Yes. Yeah. All right, Jeremy calls. Let's see both hands. Michael has a queen of diamonds and a deuce of diamonds. He Michael's more than 75% to win from here. Jeremy has a king of spades and an eight of hearts. Let's see the turn. Turn is an ace of hearts. Jeremy needs a king or an eight to win, or a four would split the pot. Oh, a four, a four oh, man. They both have a five high straight. That's a split pot. Unlucky for Michael there. They split the pot? Yeah. They split the pot. Ace, two, three, four, five. Both players have a straight. Wow. That was a good raise, man. Once you get that crowd on your side, you see, you've seen what happens. Don't tell Norm. I've got two aces. <laughs> you know, people start doing the wave and cheering and chanting, and then you've got the grim, ashen-faced comedian in the corner that people hate. I suspect Norm is a degenerate gambler, and so I think I just let him self-destruct. How much money is that? How much money does he have? <laughs> How much money is that? I think I'm just going to go balls to the wall against Sisto. Ay, ay, ay. All right. I think against a guy like Sisto, you just roll the dice. I don't know what that means. There are, there, there, there are dice or there are no dice in poker. I could be in trouble because I brought loaded dice. Norm is first. He's got an ace five. Uh, I'll raise. Norm's <laughs> raising. I'll just raise it. Whatever the f Norm raises to 4,000. Michael's got a queen eight of diamonds. Then no hesitation, he moves all in for 10,000. 10,000. King six. For Jeremy. You look a little like Sam Rockwell. Have you heard that? I like Sam Rockwell. Very good actor. Mike's just getting a little more walking time in. So that puts me all in, right, if I have to do that? Could be the end of the episode right here. Jeremy folded. I like his fold there. Norm and Norm fold. folded quickly. Michael That's a fold. very strange fold. You should at least give this some thought. I mean, this is when it gets exciting. Obviously, look at your body posture. No, well, I mean, you know, after you sit here for this long. What Michael's doing here is he's given himself a chance to win, okay? He's playing aggressively, but he's not letting himself get blinded down 
to where he's not a factor anymore. And, and that's one of the key things to understand in these tournaments is that when you get low, you just have to go for it. Michael is first. And Michael has an, an 8 5. Michael folds. And he's got the queen six of hearts. Pull it. And that seems Jeremy to be good enough for Jeremy. Moves all, all in. in. That's a nice play. And he gets Norm to fold the 10 3 offsuit. Great play by Jeremy. All in. Norm folded. Jeremy wins the pot. He did exactly what he had to do. Norm has an ace 10. Norm calls. He just calls. That's strange. 7 9 from Michael. 7 9. It's going to cost him a thousand here. <laughs> Michael folds. And pair of fours. All in. Jeremy is raising all in. Okay, Norm's calling. Now, this is a coin flip situation. Have. It's about 50 50 for each player. Oh, here we go. So let's see the flop. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> flop is Jack of Diamonds, Ten of Spades, Jack of Hearts. They both have two pair. Norm has the biggest two pairs with Jacks and Tans. Turn is a tray of Three of Hearts on the turn Norm doesn't help. He needs a four pair. on the river. He's about 4% to win from here. River is a nine of hearts. Norm wins the pot. Big hand for Jeremy. Did the right thing. Oh, yeah. No question. Graciously shaking Norm's hand. And he's coming back to join Star and Adam in the loser's lounge. Sorry, kids. Here you go. Oh, what do you think, bad move? Welcome to the Loser's Lounge. No, you know, I don't think you made a bad move. I think you had to do it. No, no, you did. You played hard. Yeah, I don't know. You played hard. You played hard. You were my pick to win, you know. Phil liked your move, you know. You're getting into the round. This is my take on it. You know, Phil happens to agree. But you got to pad your stack, you know what I mean? You got the three to 5,000 blinds coming up. Although I got You want to have some cheese in the bank. Yeah. Huh? Why wouldn't I just? You had the best hand. You got all your money in with the best hand. What more do you want to do? Yeah. Yeah. Because he only called, right? He only. Yeah. yeah. You made him call. You had the well, best. Uh, hand. Again, another. So I'm going to win a million dollars from the casino tonight and give a hundred thousand to my charity. There you go. Wow. There you go. So I'd like to thank Palms for that million dollars. Yeah. But that was fun. I enjoyed that. So. Did you have a good time? Out I there? did. Well, I enjoyed and, it. And it was your, quite and fun. Your, and your charity, the Linden Center, is already. They're going to get the five thousand. That's very nice. From very courtesy nice. of the people at Singular Wireless. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, Singular. Singular and yes. uh, I was going to say, this is uh, probably harder on me because you were my pick to win. Were you? And, uh, and were I? Yeah, you were, my, you were my pick. And you know Phil's going to lord that over me now. Uh, I wasn't your pick? No. no. Nope. <laughs> no, you were not his pick. Who was your pick? I got Michael. Yeah. Oh, do you? When you decided to and Norm, like now, Norm is, now you guys all have, you guys have something to come here. Aside from all uh, losing and only having $5,000 for your charities, only you were all... Only, that buys a lot of socks. Definitely. There's a guy sitting out there in, in a Bob Fosse hat. So what? And he busted you all out. He looks like Anne Reiking, so be He quiet. does look like Anne <laughs> Now we're just gonna, we're gonna go out for this message, then we'll be back for Heads Up Action between Norm MacDonald and Michael Ian Black. Welcome back. We're at the Palms Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. For more celebrity poker showdown, it has come down to this. You know what this is about. This is, it's no more nicey nice, no more dancey dance. No. It is now a dog fight, a vicious, ugly dog fight, which, by the way, is a wonderful sport. <laughs> I don't know why they don't bring it back. You, I know you love the dog fighting. Now, this is, this is the silver chip. Now, only one of you can walk out of here with this thing. And the one who does gets a chance to go to the championship table, play for the gold chip, and for $100,000 share of the singular wireless prize pool. That's $100,000 out of 250 that the people at Singular are putting out for all of the charities. So I give it back over to Robert to get this game going again. Please, Robert. One or $2,000 prize. Before Robert Thompson says those immortal words, let's quickly check the chip count. 
Norm McDonald's in the lead with 30,000. Mike Liam Black is still well in it with 20,000. Jeff Leffendale. And Michael has a queen and a king of diamonds. I raise. Michael's raising. 8,000. Michael raises to 8,000. And Norm is looking at a jack nine off suit. Huh? Call. Norm's calling. Flop is all in. Flops, wow. Hearts, no all bell. in. He moves all in quickly. Norm pair of nines on the flop. All in. That is not going to make Michael very happy at all. He's going to have to call off the rest of his chips without a pair if he wants to continue to play here. Michael falls. Norm wins the pot. Norm takes down the pot with a pair of nines. All right, Dave. Michael's Michael down to his first. last 8,000 in chips. He's going to have to play aggressively here. And he's got a 5-7. I'm all in. And he moves all in. I think that's the right play. Michael's raising all in for $8,000. And Norm's got a 10 queen off suit. Absolutely easy call. You don't even think about it. you got to call 6000 to bust the guy. Yes. He's got 8000 out there? Yes. A pittance. It's a pittance. If he has at least a face card. Yeah, if you got a face card, you call. Just no, no doubt about it. <laughs> and he folds it. Now, th this was a big mistake from Norm. Norm. Folds, Michael wins the pot. That's a well above average hand. I think he should have called. That's good uh -huh. news for Michael, because that means that Norm is not playing proper heads-up strategy. Picks up Norm a good hand. Yeah, he's got the ace, oh. queen of diamonds. Norm and he calls. just limps. I don't like that play at all. 2-7 for Michael. And Michael's going to get to see the flop for free Check. with one of the worst Michael hands in holding. Flop is five of spades, king of clubs, tray of hearts. Michael's first. Check. Michael checks. Norm checked. Turn is a deuce of spades. Michael Ian Black caught up. He now has a pair of deuces and the best hand. I think Michael should have bet there. You think Michael thinks he's just being uh, trapped here? Maybe, yeah. Norm checks. River is a nine of clubs. Michael checked. I will raise 5,500. And Norm comes out fine. Norm McDonald, I'm going to show you tremendous respect with the seven deuce. <laughs> Norm knows he bluffed him out. He's not showing that much respect. All he had was bottom pair with no kicker. Michael shows a seven of diamonds and a deuce of diamonds and folds. Norm wins the pot. The blinds have gone up to 3,000, 5,000. Norm is first. Nine, six for Norm. Call. Norm calls. He just calls on the button. I'm all in. Michael raises to 13,000, all in. Michael correctly reads that as weak and moves all in with a queen nine. He's hoping to pick up that 5,000. Um, all right, what would he have if he won? He has Some more of your money. He would have 26,000 total if Not he won. Not my money. The dying children's money at the hole in the wall gang, yes. <laughs> All right, I can't do that to them. Norm folds, Michael wins the pot. That's very good for Michael. He's now up to 18,000. Mm -hmm. How much did he win on that one? He won 5,000 on that pot. Michael is first. All right, it's up to Michael now. And he has an ace and an eight. Norman, not only am I all in, I'm including this autographed photo of David Copperfield. <laughs> Michael raised 18,000 all in. Norm folded. Michael wins the pot. I don't see it as friendly competition. I see it as vanquishing foes. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm there to vanquish foes. And we know who the real foes are. They're in here. 
they live right in here. If I lose, it will be you're a fool and you're an idiot. If I win, it will not be a celebration. It will only be relief. It will only be, well, you didn't, you didn't screw up this time, Black. It, that's all it is. There's no joy in my life. It's a horrible, horrible existence that I lead because I hate me. Aw, sounds like Mikey needs a hug. But don't count on Norm to give it to him. Will this David Copperfield disciple be able to wave his magic wand and make it all better? Don't disappear. Celebrity Hocus Pocus continues. Next Thursday, it's an all-new Celebrity Pocus. Welcome back to the Ponds Casino Resort, where it has become a head-to-head -head contest between Michael Ian Black and Norm Macdonald. Now, this is what this is what Celebrity Poker Showdown is all about. It is. About two celebrities going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, mano a mano, and only one being left standing at the end of it. So why don't we re review the chip count and see who's the closest to dead? Well, they're both alive and kicking at the moment. Norm has a slight edge. He has 27,000 in chips, but Michael's right behind him with 23,000. And remember, the blinds are astronomical right now at three and five thousand. That's a lot of chips for either of them. Three and five thousand dollar blinds. Shuffle up and deal. Norm is first. Norm picks up king seven. I'll raise. Race. Norm is raising. Norm raises to $12,000. And another king seven. They got the exact same hand. I'm all in. Yeah. That's a great play here. Michael's all in, and Norm's definitely going to call him there. Norm has got a call, at least. But Norm's crazy. There's no telling what a crazy man's going to do out there. <laughs> and David Copperfield is on the table again. <laughs> Michael is re-raising to $23,000. And the photo. And the, and, and the autograph, what's his name? David David. <laughs> David Copperfield. <laughs> Sorry, okay? What kind of illusionist are you? I'm not. Oh, oh I didn't realize. 11,000 to call. Norm's only got to call 11,000 more. Michael oh, man, upon. that's a huge mistake. Yeah, you're a poker expert, but I'm an expert on crazy people. Yep. <laughs> and Michael takes the chip lead. It's cat and mouse, isn't it? But who's the cat and who's the mouse? That's the interesting question. <laughs> what if we started to slowly lower the table and the players into the shark <laughs> pool at Mandalay Bay? <laughs> Norma's first. King nine. All in. Norm raises 18,000 all in. That's good enough for him to move all in. Queen seven. Well, Norman, I call. Michael calls. Now, if Michael wins his hand, the tournament is over. Okay. I'll reserve this for later. Oh, he didn't add the David Copperfield this time. Michael has a queen of spades and a seven of hearts. Michael's 35% to win this hand. Norm has a king of diamonds and a nine of spades. Flop is eight of clubs. But it clubs. just got a lot better. Seven eight of clubs, spades, seven of spades, four, four clubs, clubs on the flop. Michael, Michael flopped a pair of sevens. He's now 73% to win. Turn is a deuce of clubs. Michael is now 86% to win. Town. Let's see the river. Only a king or nine will help. River is a king of hearts. Norma wins the pot. And the very image of excitement is Norm Macdonald. Why didn't I put the picture in? Norm has taken back the chip lead with 36,000. Yep, that leaves Michael with 14,000. He's going to look at his cards, but they may not matter what they are. It's queen two of spades. <laughs> Michael raises to 14,000 all in. 
And Norm oh, folds it. Norm keeps making the same mistake over and over and over. He's got to take his chance at putting this guy out of his misery. Thank you, Dave. Five and ten thousand dollar blind. Dave. What? What? What happened? Did he say what I thought? He, did he say five and ten thousand dollar blinds, Phil? You can stay right there because we will oh be getting God. out from five behind this desk shortly. <laughs> Dave, would you have some I respect never I would for the show? The blinds would get this just, high in this tournament. It's, it's giddy. unbelievable. There can't be any oxygen at this height. Norm is first. Mm. Well, Lynn. Ace King. Norm there you go. You gotta like that. Thousand. All in. He's all in. And pocket fives for Michael. I call. Michael calls. Here we go. Okay. Michael has. Michael has more money. He Michael's a slight favorite here. He's about 54% to win before the flop. Good game either way. A five of spades and a five of clubs. Norm has an ace of diamonds and a king of hearts. Norm has 23,000 now. If he loses his hand, it's all over. He needs to flop an ace or a king, folks. Flop is, flop is a king of spades, four of spades, deuce of diamonds. Norm is a huge favorite from here. Kings. Let's see the turn. Nearly 91% to win. Four turn of clubs on the turn. Clubs. Now Michael needs a five or he's going to be down to his last 4,000 and all in on the next hand. River is a tray of diamonds. Norm wins the pot. All right, poor Mike William Black's down to his last 4,000. He's all in on the small blind. Let's see both They're just going to turn him hands. straight up. I like that a lot. That's a good Michael hand. Ace, Ace of diamonds, diamonds, eight of clubs. That's a great hand for Michael against Queen Jack, another good hand. Michael's a slight a favorite. Clubs. Michael is all in for $4,000. It's over. Let's see the flop. Don't say it's over. Like, he's so dismissive. There's the ace. And the queen. Flop. There is the and ace. There is the ace. Queen of diamonds, four of clubs, ace of clubs ace on the flop. Clubs. That gives Michael a pair of aces Michael and Norm a pair of queens. Right Tournament. The Tournament's pair of over. And Norm is goading him. The king of spades. Michael still has the best hand, but Norm has a Tournament's straight draw. Over. River is a four of spades. Michael Four of spades, and Michael Liam Black has doubled up. He's taken the first step back home. He has, and now he's got 8,000, and he'll be all in in the big blind. Michael Ian Black is hanging on for dear life. He just doubled up but still doesn't have enough chips for the big blind. He'll be automatically all in on the next hand. Can he and his magical friend pull off two miracles in a row? See the light of poker shine brightly after this brief eclipse of commercialism. Welcome back to the Palms in Crapsville, USA for more of this exciting heads up duel. Let's get right back to the action by way of the chip count. Well, Mike Liam Black is up against it again. Norm McDonald has 42,000 and Michael's 8,000. And since the big blind is up to 10,000 right now, Michael is automatically all in on this next hand no matter what cards he's dealt. And shuffle up and deal. We're all in again, right? What's he got? He has 8,000. You have a $5,000 small blind. I got you. You're and he's first. almost automatically going to call the 3,000. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's no, not even going to look. <laughs> Norm is calling. Let's see both hands. Uh -huh. Michael shows a four of oh, wow. spades and a nine of hearts. Norm shows a four of clubs and a king of hearts. Oh, disaster Michael for Michael. For he's a dominated Norm hand. More chips. The four the nine top. is not a good hand to hold against a king for. Nothing but nines. Flop is queen of clubs, deuce of spades, jack of clubs. So far, Norm has the best hand with king high. We Let's know. See the <laughs> Sorry. Turn is a queen of diamonds. He's now 95% to lose this tournament. I'll tell you right now, David, it's curtains for you. He needs a nine or this thing is over. Come on, master illusionist. Really? And it is a nine. On the river. Michael wins the pot. Michael makes two pairs, queens and nines. Wow. Who's got some scotch tape? I, I accidentally... Anything I ever said bad about you. You briefly doubted the power of David Copperfield's crotch. <laughs> Never again. No. Never again. Oh my God. There had to be some magic there that Claudia Schiffer was interested in. 
All right. I'm going to go back off camera. Michael is first to act. All right, Miracle Michael's first to act. I don't even need the chair anymore. <laughs> and he's got I'm all in. Seven. Oh, five pocket sevens. He's all in for 16. And it's a king six oh. for Norm. Norm folds. Michael wins the pot. And with that fold, Michael's going to take the chip lead without even a conflict. Wow. That is not a good play by Norm. Norm is first. All right, Norm's first to act, and he's not making me very happy with his heads-up well, strategy here. It's almost like he's out to hurt you. He's got a seven, eight of diamonds. He's... <laughs> Finally, he moves all in. That's up to Michael. we have a five, seven of hearts. If he gives up the 10,000 here, Norm will be our new chip leader. And he folds it. Michael folds. Norm wins the pot. Norm shows an 8-7 of diamonds. It was a reasonable lay down, and he's certainly happy now that he sees that Norm had the 8-7 and had him dominated. The blinds here are at an absurdly high level of 5,000, yeah, 10,000. Really, their only moves are all in or fold. Michael is first. I'm all in. Michael raises to 60. Case three of hearts for Michael, and he's... And that's an easy all in. All in. And he's adding David Copperfield again. He's learned his lesson. It's up to Norm. And he's got the four king of spades. I call. He calls right. with a king four spades. That's a good call. Michael has ace tray of hearts. Norm has king four of spades. Michael's a slight favorite with the ace three suited. Norm has more money than Michael. Go ahead, let's see the flop. But he's not a better person. If Michael loses his hand, right. it's all it's over. Five of diamonds, ten of spades, ten of, spades, ten of clubs spades, on the flop. That's a Neither good flop for Michael. Michael has the best hand with ace high. Turn is a seven of hearts. Seven of hearts on the turn. Now only a king or a four. There are only six cards that can help Norm. Deuce of spades on the river. Michael doubles up and is now the chip leader again. Pair of tens, ace high. These guys are going back and forth like heavyweight boxers just slugging it out on the poker table. Norm, I, uh, I know where you can get a photograph of Lance Burton's scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in your wallet? <laughs> yeah. Norm is first act. All in. Queen of spades, six of hearts for Norm. He's all in for 18,000. Here it's up He's to got Michael. Queen six and a king six for Michael. He's only got to call 8,000. 18,000, correct? Norm raised 18,000, all in. You know I'm calling. He's calling and he puts the copper field in. We got a showdown and Michael is a dominant hand right now with a king six over the queen six. He's about 75% to win from here. Norm has a queen of spades and a six of hearts. Let's see the flop. Don't put on your coat, you're jinxing. Seven of spades, seven of hearts, five of spades on the flop. That's a great flop for Michael. Only a queen will help Norm. Michael has the best hand so far with a pair of sevens and a king. Turn, Turn is a deuce of spades. That gives Norm nine spades for outs, as well as the Michael queens. Michael still has the best hand with a pair of sevens and a king. Here it is, Dave. You see the river? Battle back and forth, and the six on the river no. makes Michael two pair with a king kicker. It's better than two pair with a queen kicker for Norm. And we have a winner. Michael's a winner. Fantastic a job from Michael. For an amazing comeback. All the way back from 4,000. He came back, and he's got all the chips in front of him and a seat in our championship round. Well done, sir. Good job. Good job. You had some powerful help there. Uh, it really wasn't fair. When you bring um, Copperfield into the mix, forget about it. You no, know, and in that pose, <laughs> my lord. You just, well, here, here it is. Here is the silver chip. Yes. Oh. Means you are going to the champion table means you are going to have a chance to win the gold chip and the lion's share of the singular wireless quarter million dollar prize pool. It also means we are done here tonight, so please, a big round of applause for everyone who played. Even Adam. 
Or who started I'm the Hank Foley. For me and my co-host, Phil Gordon, remember, whoever said it's not whether you win or lose was not talking about poker. Tonight from the Palms in Las Vegas. Oh. Thursday, Sean Astin, Lauren Graham, and